Aseptic compounding is a detailed process that requires a lot of concentration, skill, and training. In addition, this topic wouldn't be complete without a discussion of aseptic media fill verification, expiration and beyond use dating, storage requirements and labeling. One of the most important steps when compounding sterile preparations is aseptic technique verification. This ensures compounding personnel are using proper technique during sterile compounding procedures by evaluating their ability to maintain the sterility of a microbiological growth medium as well as performing adequate documentation of medication and diluents used and keeping accurate records of patient information and information regarding products used in compounding. The ultimate goal of aseptic media fill verification is to verify the technique of compounding personnel and ensure that the final preparations are sterile. There are a couple of dates in particular that are important to note when compounding pharmaceuticals. Expiration date and beyond use date. The expiration date is required on commercially manufactured products and is determined by the stability of the drug. Most expiration dates are given in years. Beyond use dates are used for compounded preparations and are generally given in days or months. Beyond use dates are assigned based on the risk level of the compounded sterile preparation. USP Chapter 797 has very specific beyond use dates for each of the three risk levels. In addition to these microbial stability limits, each drug that is prepared will have its own chemical stability that needs to be considered to determine when the compounded sterile preparation can no longer be used. Labels are required and must contain specific information including drug and diluent used, patient identification number, directions for use, the beyond use date, and any other necessary information such as storage requirements and special handling. Now that you've worked so hard to make a safe and effective compounded sterile preparation, packaged and labeled it correctly, don't forget the last step. Storing medications properly is a very important activity necessary to ensure the stability of the medications. It is important to follow the manufacturer's guidelines when storing commercially available medications. When storing compounded medications, however, it gets a little more complicated. You must store the preparation according to the strictest storage requirements of the ingredients used to prepare the drug. Containers used to store medications should be light resistant, tightly sealed, impervious to air, and protected from contamination. All materials used in compounding should be packaged and stored according to the manufacturer's labeling and the USPNF guidelines. Storage requirements are important to follow because they help prevent contamination or decomposition of medications and solutions. All ingredients must be stored on shelves, marked with the date of receipt, and rotated so that the earliest expiring ingredients are always in front. Ingredients should not be used beyond their expiration date. If any specific temperature requirements have been indicated for storage, follow them.